Bonjour and welcome everyone for this new video. I'm back in Sweden and this is Road Trip to Bakeries. And we're gonna start this video by going to the first bakery. So after driving a couple of hours in the Swedish countryside, I finally arrived to this bakery. This is the name. It's too complicated for me to say it. So as I said, this bakery is in the countryside with pretty much nothing around as you can see and first when I arrive and I see this blue door and this very beautiful building I was already amazed by this bakery it looks very charming, very lovely and when you go inside, this is what you can see this bakery is super pretty so I talked a little bit with the owner and she told me that they're open 24 hours a day and all week because they have a kind of sales service so people they can come in, take whatever they want and pay. Well, of course, there are some people who steal products. She said it happens, but you can go at 2 a.m. and take your bread. That's quite cool. And she showed me the oven, which is a very old wood oven also. They use because they are actually a couple and I had to buy some product. I bought a few things and on the road, I stopped somewhere to try them. So I bought this bread, which was a normal bread with olives and cheese. And wow, I cut this bread, sourdough bread, of course. And this bread was really, really amazing. I ate one big part like this and I couldn't really stop it. It was really delicious. The baking was exactly what I like. And cheese olive in bread is absolutely beautiful. So I was already amazed by this bread. And also I bought some biscuits, but I will try them a little bit later because I think I'm gonna be busy by trying those products now. So the next product I was about to try was this one. It was a kind of brioche with rhubarb, with rhubarb jam. It was really, really, really amazing. Yeah, that was definitely one of the best bakery I tried on this whole trip. The rhubarb was delicious. It was like a little bit acid and in the same time you had the sweetness of the brioche plus the sugar. It was just a trouble eating this. It was delicious. And then I tried the cardamom brioche bun. It was the vanilla cardamom, if I remember. And yeah, you could feel the vanilla. It's a very good mix. It was just amazing also. But the best one was the last one. It was the same dough, but with a raspberry jam. Oh my goodness, it was absolutely delicious. So yeah, I have one regret now. I should have bought more of them. Everything was soft and melting in the mouth in the same time. Yeah, you could just feel the flavor and it was just wow. Then I drove a little bit, stopped here and there, enjoyed the views, and then I stopped somewhere to sleep, but also to try the cookies. Now I want to try these ones. It's been a few hours, so I'm hungry. That's just some cookies with chocolate and almonds. And they were also quite amazing. On these cookies, you can see the piece of almonds, you can see the chocolate, and they were still super crunchy, not even soft. And the flavor also of these almonds and chocolate, it was delicious. It was time for me to go on the road again and I just drove near Uppsala where I had to stay a couple of days to wait for my girlfriend to come with me for a short trip on the weekend. I'm a traveling spirit, I've seen many shows from the West Pacific to the island of Kenya They treat me like a son anywhere I go And even though no one can tell I still feel that I'm alone I'm alone I'm alone I'm alone Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it all now we are near Uppsala, which is a city not too far from Stockholm, walking in a beautiful forest actually, just next to the city. And it's really lovely, it's beautiful. Everything you can see, all on the floor, all around me, it's blueberries. Blueberries everywhere. Most of them they are picked up already because people come and pick them up. You also can find strawberries, wild strawberries and mushroom, lots of mushroom. But even so I still feel that I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. 
Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it all on my own. I'm alone. So we first visited Sigtuna in the area, a very small touristic town, super pretty. And there were also lots of memories of Viking in the area. There was some church from this time. And there's a lot of history about that in the area. So that's quite interesting to go. And even the town is pretty. There's the bakery also. I tried it. I went inside. I filmed a little bit to show you this one. And I tried the product, but I didn't really film because honestly, it wasn't really good. So I had no real point to show this on the video. But I can show you this beautiful image of the town and the surrounding areas. So yes, I'm going to show you now a few images of this road trip. And if you like nature, yeah, you can enjoy it. If you don't, well, see you next week. In the next video, we will go to Stockholm, visit some bakeries, and I think maybe even we will see the tiniest bakery in the world. And I say tiny because it's really tiny, and you will be surprised. So you can give it a like, subscribe, and check the other video. If you want to make bread, there's some recipe. If you want to see the travel, you can watch the travel. So see you next time.